Guys, the back floorboard of the Jag, we got steamed up windows, back floorboards, soaking wet. The way this sunroof, water gets through here. This is not a sealed system. I have a video on how to unplug the front ones, which is pretty easy. I put, there's a hose that it connects right here and goes all the way down and comes out right here. The problem is the way this hose comes down, it comes down to here and then it goes horizontal and that's why it plugs up. So the front ones are open, but the back ones are plugged up. What I've done, here is your hose right here from the drains. And I messed up when I went and cut it and when I cut it, water just went pouring all over all this electronics but there is a keeper for it right back there and i'm going to reroute it so here's my other one i'm attempting to put re weed eater line down it because you got to have something stiff another thing is i think the line was kinked really bad right it was kinked really bad right there where it goes through there but i can't get it to go anymore but if you use weed eater line so if your floorboards are getting wet that hose attaches right here in this tray, about right here. There's no way I can't get a way to get through it. And then that hose comes down the cell panel, wraps down here, but it's draining somewhere right here. And I have no access because there's the muffler and there's a plate right here. Uh, the next thing is we're going to try and take the fender well out here. Nothing else I found. You don't want to put a wire down it. You'll end up puncturing it. And you can spin this around to unplug it. And then we're going to put a bunch of Dawn dishwashing liquid through it and try and flush it. The other one is right there. And then we'll get us some plastic double male connectors to reconnect. So if you take if you take you a T30, T30, you can take three torques loose. Okay, hold this inner fender well out and I'm touching the hose I'm actually touching the hose up in there but it feels like it's and I don't know what that drain is for there but see all these lines are like that they're kinked why would they run a line just to get kinked okay guys this line was not plugged up but I'm gonna go buy a bigger one and a longer one this went through the body right there it's kinked and then this went through the body to the outside there and this was pushed up against like this to the fender well and this is where I could not get the weed eater to go past it's not plugged up it's just there's this red tape stuff right there which I believe that is supposed to be like that because it gives it some strength and keeps it from getting see that that's kink so bad, but we got to go buy a splice anyways. Okay, O'Reilly's Auto Parts. Got me a new bunch of fittings. My issue is this grommet. There is no way in the world that I am going to be able to push this grommet back in like this. So what I'm proposing is I push it in from the front side, the inside. I got, I think I got enough access. I put some silicone grease around it. I think I could get it in that way, but I can't. I pushed it out from the inside because I can't get my fingers up in here without cutting a hole in the metal. But I think if I pushed it in this way, I think that'll work. That's my plan anyways. So that isn't even vacuum line. Uh, it's fuel line, but it was a piece that was already cut. All right, guys. This is what I had to do to gain access. I had to pull the car's computer out. But right back in here is where that hose goes. I guess that's what you got to go through to change the lights too. Change those lights, you're going to have to go through the same thing here. Sucks. Okay. On the left side, right here is the hose coming down. And as you can see, as it goes through that hole right there, it is totally smashed down. I don't know if it's going to show up or not, but there's just, it's totally pinched. And a downpour, there's no way. And we're going to try and access it all. Otherwise, 
all this has got to come out i don't know another computer navigation system all got to come out so here's the old one but see how it's all kinked up and we're just going to replace it with this one um put the grommet put the grommet in backwards and what i was worried about on the other side is once again i was pushing it in against the wall like that against the side of the car and what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut this at an angle so even if i push it in and it hits it'll have room for the water to run out see if i cut it at an angle i think that's what I'll... so i'm going to get started on this side day two i'm trying to do the left side which means the dvd player everything's got to come out and we have a light up there which is going to make things very difficult this lower bolt out and it, the back keeper is stripped out so i got all aggravated and i pried this loose without it because you have to be able to get to the back end all right there it is And you can see it is pushed over on itself. See that, guys? Isn't that something? Well, guys, that right here is why it's flattened completely out. Going through that crease right there. And this thing is full of water. And that's why it ain't draining. It's totally kinked off see it's completely smashed going through that hole right there whoever in their intimate I mean it's a manufacturing deet they've got this white hose to see that white thing is supposed to keep it from they've wrapped tape around it to give it some strength but it obviously but here's the grommet right back there that we're dealing with see that and we're just gonna cut this line up here Put a new one in and we'll push it out the wheel well. Okay, interestingly, the red, the right side was red and the left side was white, but this is right up against the fender. You know, so that's totally kinked and this is totally kinked like that where it came out there. So it's easy to push the grommet through right there. So you just push the grommet through and well, we'll take it off and we'll flip it around the other direction and we'll feed that new hose in there and put an, put that nipple on there and it'll never ever leak again. Okay guys, there it is. I switched the grommet around the other direction so I could push it in, put silicone grease on it so the hose slides in there and now we're just gonna put a zip tie there somewhere and we just put a nipple barb right here on the old line i really don't like how it's running in an angle i'd really like it to be up and down see how it does should never ever leak again